going on guys, it's your boy Dever or Tateki back here with a brand new video. Today's video guys, we got another graphic designing tutorial from you guys today. So I have another I have another video requested from one of my viewers here on my channel and he asked if I can do kind of a double layer kind of double font logo kind of tutorial. And I told him I would because I'll do anything for my fans. If you guys want to hit me up on Instagram, if you guys want, if you guys want to hit me up on Instagram, if you guys want to see anything here on the channel, if you guys want to say it privately, you guys can. You guys can also say it in the comments. I always respond to all my comments here on the channel. So if you guys want to see anything on the channel, go ahead and comment anything right now. So today's video, I got this very cool logo tutorial, and it's very easy. It doesn't take it. Just it takes no effort whatsoever. You just gotta watch everything throughout the video, and you guys will hear. You guys will get something just like this. Here's an example of what we're gonna be making today. You guys can use any. You can you you can use any font. You can use any kind of color. Anything you guys can use different text. You guys you, you can use anything in the alphabet and make something else something just like this. So we're gonna go ahead and make our new layer, our new project. So we're gonna press Control N, and we're gonna go ahead and name this. I'm gonna use change the width to 800. And change the height to 800 and the resolution can stay the same you guys can make it 300 if you guys want i'm gonna go ahead and make it 300 and the background make sure it's white so here we go we got our guys's background there so the first thing we're going to be doing is going to head and make a text layer go to press t on your guys's keyboard to bring out the text and click anywhere on the project and bring out the layer so go ahead and pick out your first two fonts so i'm going to pick one font so, you, you have, so when you guys have your guys' letters, you guys are going to make sure that they're both separate layers. You don't make them one layer like this. Like if I was making an R, you guys want to be able to create a different R. So obviously you just, you guys want to have both of them two different layers, two different text layers. If you guys want to use uh, this text here on this channel, you guys can go ahead. There's a link down in the description below where you can get this font it's called Scared Hurt. So the first thing we're going to be doing is make sure both layers are rasterized. So to make sure that they are. They usually have the text T on it, and that means that they're not rasterized, obviously. So go ahead and click both on your guys' both layers, R and K, and right click on them and rasterize them both. Now, to make the little cool kind of effect to it, uh, how I did with the SK over here, to, we're going to make sure that they're kind of split in half between together. So to do that, we're going to make sure that we go on our K or an R, whatever you guys, which one you're going to be using into the video. And we just merge it kind of like inside the, inside the other letter. So I move the K into the R. And then the first thing that we're going to be doing here is that we're going to make sure we're going to be selecting on the, on the K. So we're going to use our magic wand tool on the, on the toolbar. So if it's not the magic wand tool, usually it will be the quick selection tool. It looks like kind of kind of a brush. You just hold the left click button and you move left, or I mean right, to magic wand tool, and you guys will have this. Drag up our K up to the R until we're on top of the R, and then we're gonna go ahead and click on this side of the K because this is the part first part we're gonna be for focusing on, obviously. And I'm going to click this, and then. Once that part of the letter is selected on whatever letter object or whatever letter or object you guys are focusing on, go ahead and up to select, go to modify, go to expand, and make sure to expand by five pixels as most recommended. If you guys want to use smaller pixels or high pixels, it really doesn't matter. It's just five pixels for this video that I'm going to be using. I'm going to press OK. Now we're going to be selected above the logo. So once we do that, we're gonna go down. We're gonna make sure we're not clicked on anything. Everything's selected on the K, and we're gonna go click on our bottom layer because everything on the bottom layer that's not selected, and the and the layer on the top that is selected, we're gonna be cutting out completely. So we're gonna be on R, but not there. Nothing selected on R, but what the K is selected on top of R, so it's gonna be cut out. So we're gonna press Control X. And there you go we got everything cut out there so if you guys want to adjust everything and if you guys want go ahead and click back on your guys layer on r go ahead and select this and you guys can move it move it to the side if you guys want to move it inches by inches you just use your guys's arrow keys on your guys's keyboard so i'm gonna go to move this move this so obviously if you guys want if you guys don't know how to move it 
uh, you guys can use use control T control C is the, the only way you guys can like transform stuff and there you go there's my kind of funky logo we got here that looks pretty cool that you guys can try out so if you guys want to make a little metallic font if you guys don't have layer styles I made a gradient layer styles pack for you guys on my channel so I'm gonna leave the link to the video to here on this channel so if you guys want to get a like, very cool layer style on top of it we have that there and obviously we're gonna put a spotlight if you guys don't want to use a spotlight the spotlight is kind of just give it a little effect like it's showing that it's there and everything or anything so I'm gonna press B on our keyboard Go over your color picker tool go to white and then and then zoom on all the way on our image make sure you use half of the image and use the brush on kind of like 25 percent or 15 percent of the image use the brush on top of it and then there we go so we just move the opacity and made you make it like 80 so we can see it's visible there you go you guys have your guys's double font layer whatever i don't know what to call this video but something cool something very logo if this is you guys the first time on the channel make sure to subscribe leave a like if this helped comment if you guys need help on the channel i'll make sure to reply i obviously will reply to every comment on, on one of my videos for watching guys this has been your boy devin or and i'm out peace out